down. I like that. Hi guys, it's Melody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the whole T-Doc thing that's been trending, especially on Instagram. So I was actually sent some T-Doxing, detoxing products from a company called Thin Tea. And to put a disclaimer out there, I'm not being paid to talk about this tea. All of my opinions are completely 100% honest and my own. So I'm going to give an in-depth review about them and also my experience with this and all that jazz. Start off, Thin Tea is an Australian brand who uses all 100% natural vegan friendly ingredients and their gluten, dairy, preservative, additive, caffeine, and most importantly, laxative free. So I received the 28 day detox blend in the color green and the 28 day fat burn blend in the color magenta pink. I also received a cute little leaf designed strainer diffuser. The amount I received, I think I've surpassed 28 days since I started and I probably have like a week left to finish it. The 28 day detox blend one specifically alkalizes, cleanses, detoxifies, and reduces bloating. There are six active ingredients. The simple instruction says to place one teaspoon of the loose leaves in the strainer and drink it first thing in the morning with your breakfast. I'm a regular herbal tea drinker. It was a pretty easy transition for me to just move over to a different kind of tea. I personally like the taste. It gave a really fresh sensation in my mouth. I can't really say I was the best with my diet and exercise. That was non-existent, but I did notice some great health benefits. I noticed my skin appear a lot brighter, especially my face. My energy levels were much higher with less bloating. And overall, I felt healthier knowing I was taking something that cleanses the body. The 28 day fat burn blend one specifically speeds up metabolism, suppresses appetite and burns fat. There are seven active ingredients as shown in the bag. These instructions says to also place one teaspoon of the loose leaves in the strainer and drink just before you eat your dinner. I also really like the taste of this. I never had pepper peppermint tea, but this was pretty good. Only concern was how small the loose leaves were. They did come out of the diffuser rapidly and I would end up drinking the tea leaves, which wasn't a bothersome for me, but I recommend getting a strainer with tinier holes. For health benefits, this totally helped suppress my appetite at night. I used to never eat at night, but sometimes when I'm up late doing homework, I always end up looking at the pantry or the fridge, but drinking this helped me stay away. To be honest, I wasn't really great at taking this. There were times where I'm already eating dinner, so I end up taking it right after I eat, but I just thought that helped even more with suppressing my appetite. For fat burning, I didn't really consider because I didn't really weigh myself before or after, but I did not take this to lose weight. If I did, I'd probably disappear. Which brings me to the whole concept that teas makes you lose weight concept, which is kind of a little silly for me. I did hear some YouTubers say that they lost weight because of detoxing with teas, but one has to really consider if they ate healthy and kept up with a workout routine. So fun fact, it's a different day, I'm obviously wearing something different, but while I was editing this video, I didn't know if I wanted to include this side story or not, so I went ahead anyway. A lot of you guys have been wondering how I lost 30 pounds in one summer in my 50 random facts about me video, and today I'll be revealing what I did in that time frame. For story time in 2013, I was in my friend's cotillion debut, and there was just so many pictures taken, and once I saw them, right after, I kind of cringed at myself because I didn't like what I saw. I have a lot of before pictures, but I was 112 pounds at that time, which is still considered a normal BMI range, but I still wanted to lose some fat because I was just not fit at all. And then 2014 came, and that means New Year's resolutions, New Year, New Me motto, and most importantly for me at that time, that prom body. I think I actually worked out for that until it was like a month away. I just don't know how, many, how much weight I lost at that time. Now some of you guys are going to be saying, oh, you were even considered fat looking or big or whatever. But my goal was to love my body, myself, boost some confidence and motivate myself to actually live a healthy lifestyle. I didn't want to get fit right away and just drop everything once that body fitness was achieved. I wanted to slowly transition to a healthier lifestyle where I could definitely 
maintain for as long as I can. Okay, so enough story time. I'll be telling you my tips and tricks on what I did to lose that much weight. I decreased my portions each meal and I would just eat such a big breakfast. My favorite was a peanut butter banana toast with honey and I would literally eat that every morning right after my workout routine. If I know I ate the right amount of servings, I would just fill up my tummy with water just so I avoid extra consuming. At night, I would not eat past 7 or 8 because I just didn't want all of that food to turn into fat the next day. For my workout routine, I would jog for at least 3 to 4 miles every morning before breakfast. After cardio, I would do sessions with Cassie from Blogilates. And I kid you not, I still have the videos I followed in my little iPod Nano. With all of these tips and tricks, I guess, I managed to lose 30 pounds in one summer. So basically like 4 months. So like I said, I was 112 pounds and decreased myself into like 82 pounds. I did not expect to lose that much weight. A lot of people even noticed my drastic weight loss and it was kind of surprising. But right now, 2 years later, I am a healthy 90 pounds which is considered a normal BMI range because 82 back then was just considered underweight and I just wanted to gain more so I could be normal. I'm sorry guys, but there is no miracle tea, but the only way to lose weight is to eat healthy and get the right amount of exercise. It's as simple as that. There are no shortcuts to a healthy lifestyle. But if you're interested in taking these teas, don't do it because you want to lose weight unless you want to be very motivated to keep up a good, a good workout routine plus eating a good healthy diet but do it because it's a great addition to your lifestyle plus it's also a great way to just reset your system if you have the time and are willing to add this to your routine i think this could be very beneficial to you i link down below their website and instagram account if you guys want to see other people's progress or opinions but they're also having a spring sale which includes a 20 percent off discount code for a limited time only, so definitely check out their website. I know that everyone has different opinions about these, but these are completely 100% my own. So hopefully you guys found this review helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. But other than that, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and see you next video. Bye!